Welcome back to another tech tip by appliance video. Today we're going to take a look at why meat or cheese have dark or green spots on them in the refrigerator. Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com where you will find thousands of videos on the latest technology. For a limited time, you could save big on an annual membership and take advantage of all our premium benefits. Appliancevideo.com. Do it right the first time. If you store your meat in the refrigerator longer than two days, a normal process called oxidation will take place. As the meat oxidizes, it's natural for it to darken in color. If your meat has been cured for too long in the fridge, you will start getting brown, green or yellow discoloration due to bacterial growth and the product should be disposed of immediately. Moral of the story, don't consume discolored meat. Cheese will also become moldy after being stored in the fridge for a long time, though it's normal for molds to occasionally develop on the surface of the cheese after a short period of time. If you see a small amount of mold on the surface of a hard cheese, you can cut out the molded area. Just be sure to cut one inch around the molded area and avoid letting the knife touch any part of the mold. Otherwise, you may find more mold growing even sooner. If you have cheese slices, cottage cheese, or other types of soft cheese that develop mold, it's best to just dispose of them. Do not try to remove mold from any of these soft cheeses. So to avoid losing your food before you can use it, just be aware of the time and location it's stored. When you have meat or cheese in the fresh food section, it should be used within one to two days. If you know you're not going to use the product within that time, you should always store the product in the freezer. If this video helps you, like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.